Dolby Atmos is considered by many audiophiles to be the best surround sound technology. Combine a beautiful picture with a Dolby Atmos sound system and you'll get much closer to bringing a real movie theater experience into your living room. To prepare this video, we tested 11 of the best Dolby Atmos soundbars from the likes of Sony, LG, Samsung, Vizio, Nakamichi and more. But this video is all about the top 5 Atmos soundbars that came out on top because they sound the best and deliver the best features, design and value for price. Starting a list at number 5 is the surprisingly aggressive Nakamichi Shockwave Ultra 9.2.4. If you heard the Nakamichi Shockwave Ultra, you must have been pleasantly surprised like we were with how good the system sounds. This soundbar system reflects Nakamichi's standards of excellence with its impressive 16 drivers array that provide a full-blown 9.2.4 channel audio. In addition to Dolby Atmos, this soundbar supports Dolby Vision and incorporates Nakamichi's Spatial Surround Elevation Technology or short SSE, which utilizes three processing engines to deliver a lifelike surround sound experience. In our test, we found the soundstage and object separation to work extremely well. Dolby Atmos and DTSX effects are well implemented and sound very punchy and immersive, with well-balanced and prominent sound separation across our entire larger-than-average sound room. Now, let's talk about another major step up with this system the dual 10-inch subwoofers. The dual subs concept and execution balances bass across the entire watching space. Nakamichi is one of the first companies to bring this tech into our living room and the results are surprisingly good, even in small spaces. The dual subwoofers deliver smooth and balanced bass across the room and really made us feel right at the center of the action. Bass was deep, it was accurate, the dialect was clear and dominant as we love it and there's no shortage in custom adjustments available for those of us who want to further tweak the sound. Another thumbs up from Nakamichi is the soundbar's unique design that differentiates it from any other standard boring rectangular soundbars out there. If you're in the market for a complete Dolby Atmos system that provides the closest experience to a real movie theater, this system proves to be one of the best choices providing you have the space to correctly place the entire speaker setup. Moving to our fourth place, where we have the interesting Sennheiser Ambio Soundbar. Sennheiser's Ambio Soundbar delivers virtual surround sound in a 5.1.4 configuration. That's the five speakers and a subwoofer from a normal 5.1 surround sound system, plus four additional channels in each corner of the room. That is incredible. Now, here's the kicker. The Ambio Soundbar unit includes no less than 13 premium drivers and it's on the unit itself, all on the one single standalone bar. The Ambio supports Dolby Atmos and DTSX virtualization, which we found to handle extremely well across all range of audio genres, from classical music all the way to dialogue and effect-rich movies. This soundbar is an all-in-one system without compromises and that's essentially its biggest selling point. However, looking at it, you can't help but noticing its futuristic and premium appearance. But we're here for Atmos, and on that front, we found this soundbar unit to manage very well and deliver spatial experience and powerful enough bass without the need for additional speakers or separate subwoofer, and that's impressive. But here's also some downsides that hold the soundbar in a fourth place. In short, it's still quite limited by the lack of physical surround speakers as the sound virtualization from one speaker can only go so far when compared to a physical surround speakers. It is what it is. The bar is also quite bulky and large, so placement can be an issue. On top of it, there's a hefty price tag, I mean, which makes us ask ourselves, hey, is it really worth it for this price? Maybe you don't have all that space for placing a bunch of speakers all in one room. So if you're set on having a one-piece Atmos system, that holds the compromise as far as audio clarity and soundstage, go with the Ambio. It's a good choice for you and you should look into it. The Ambio soundbar marks Sennheiser's first attempt at a high-end soundbar ring. And with Sennheiser building on the experience they gained with it, we can't wait to see what they're gonna come up with next. Our pick for the third place is LG's latest Atmos soundbar, the SN11RG. 
After quite a few hours we spent with this phenomenal LG soundbar, we found it to be one of the top performers with producing immersive audio experiences worthy of our favorite movies and music. It was a slightly too boomy sound profile, but it's otherwise fairly neutral. With a total of 770 watts of power, this soundbar system truly managed to give a big and powerful room-filling presence. The SN1100G supports both object-based audio formats, Dolby Atmos and DTSX, using its 7.1.4 speaker layout. The soundbar sticks with its signature Meridian sound, Google Assistant built-in, and the new HDMI ERC port that can play advanced object-based surround audio as well as high-quality lossless formats. With four sets of upward firing speakers and two wireless rear units, which sit diagonally behind your sitting position, the Dolby Atmos LG soundbar is quite large in size and requires a decent sized media cabinet. For complete dimensions, you can follow the links below. In second place, our runner up by a small margin is the Samsung HWQ950T. Bringing its 9.1.4 channel setup, the Q950T delivers a neutral and well-balanced sound with above-average punchy bass. Finally, we get a soundbar that's suitable for a wide variety of audio content, ranging from dialogue-oriented movies to booming effects and music. And we gotta admit, the 9.1.4 experience is very engaging and exciting. Watching the Avengers with the system kept us happily bouncing in our chairs. As far as design goes, the Samsung has mostly plastic and fabric build, which feels like a bit of a step down from the other premium models that they have. It also has a screen on top, and it's impossible to see unless you're standing directly over it. Overall, we gotta say it looks a little more industrial, but it also feels less premium than its predecessor. Dialogue enhancement on this model has seen a much-awaited improvement, and Amazon Alexa support makes this soundbar a bit smarter and allows to use it as a smart home hub. To sum it up, if you have the room and budget for a full-fledged 9.1.4 Atmos soundbar system, this soundbar might be right up your alley. Our pick for the best overall Dolby Atmos soundbar for 2021 is the Sonos Arc. Sonos finally delivered its version of a full Dolby Atmos soundbar solution in a single soundbar it calls the Arc. And we must confess, we're pretty pumped about this soundbar as we waited for it for so long. We got it at a price that's far from cheap, however, it's very competitive with similar Dolby Atmos soundbars out there. As Sonos knows best, they deliver a single box tricks that combines a smart speaker with Wi-Fi music systems and home cinema kit all in one piece. However, this standalone soundbar can be easily upgraded with a wireless subwoofer and surround satellites for an even more immersive experience. Now here's the thing, the Arc looks deceptively simple. It's sleek, one meter long cylinder that is surprisingly compact considering there's eight separate woofers, three tweeters, and a collection of electronics all hidden behind the matte metal finish. Four of the woofers face you directly through the front of the unit. There's one in each end and two more that fire upwards to generate the height elements required for Dolby Atmos. One tweeter fires straight from the center of the bar while the other two fire out of the left and right angles. We love that! The Sonos Arc draws on Dolby's latest True HD and Dolby Digital Plus sound codecs to deliver the best quality lossless audio found on cutting-edge Blu-ray discs and some of the leading streaming services. It then enhances the 3D sound space using Dolby Atmos object tracks to bounce certain sounds off the wall around you so they feel like they're coming from all angles. As much as we love the Arc, there's a few short sides that we have to admit. For example, a single HDMI port? We gotta mention that the Arc sounds great with the non-Atmos sources too, like stereo music and Dolby Digital 5.1 movies, but we notice places where the Arc lacks bass and overly compensate bass at high volumes. The Arc also notably lacks DTS support. While most of the competition in this price range supports both Atmos and DTS. Now, the Sun's Arc gets the number one spot due to being the most well rounded soundbar. It's very well built and it's designed to be elegant. It has the smarts and features, upgradability options, and most importantly, great audio delivery for almost any purpose. You can find out much more about prices, technical specs, shipping options, and dimensions for each of these soundbars we just mentioned in the links below. 
We have a lot more comprehensive tech reviews and recommendations in our vault and many more coming up soon. So feel free to join our family and subscribe to our channel below. Click the bell so you can get notified when we upload next.